Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and today we're going to talk about when is knee surgery necessary? It's a huge question that a lot of patients have. There are three common things on the MRI of a patient with knee pain that drive most of the arthroscopic surgeries. These are bone spurs, a hole in the cartilage, or meniscus tears. Now, basically what happens is a patient comes in with knee pain to see the doctor. He doesn't know what's going on. An MRI is taken, it shows one of those three things, and we end up with a surgery. What if these things weren't causing the pain? Would surgery still be needed? Absolutely not. So let's look at the largest study, or one of the largest studies to date, called the Framingham Osteoarthritis Study. It looked at 710 people out of which 206 of them had knee pain. And then they looked at MRIs to try to see the difference between people that had pain and didn't have pain. So do bone spurs cause knee pain? They get operated on all the time. And you would think that they're being taken out because they're causing pain to try to help the pain. But if we look at the Framingham data uh, and the percentage of people with bone spurs on their MRI, they're pretty much the same. In fact, these are statistically identical. So that means that uh, bone spurs aren't causing pain because we have an awful lot of people out there who have bone spurs but have no pain. So taking these bone spurs off surgically makes no common sense. Well, surely cartilage damage or a hole in the cartilage has to cause pain. In fact, there are hundreds of thousands of surgeries in the U.S. alone done to try to fix these holes in cartilage. That's got to be causing pain. Well, let's look at the Framingham study. This is the percentage of people who had holes in the cartilage on their MRI. And as you can see here, they're almost identical. And again, these are not cystically different. So a whopping 43% of patients without any pain had holes in their cartilage. So again, doesn't make sense to operate on people who have holes in their cartilage if those holes aren't causing them pain. And do meniscus tears cause knee pain? I mean, after all, this is probably the most common surgery in the United States today. Uh, meniscectomy, going in and, and trying to repair, which happens very infrequently, or more likely cut out the torn piece. So again, let's look at the data. If we look at knee pain and no pain, again, they're virtually identical. Uh, we have as many people with no pain as who have knee pain, who have meniscus tears, and there really isn't anything that's different about these two numbers. So at the end of the day, meniscus tears don't cause pain. Hence, operating on meniscus tears, not such a good idea. So this and other studies show that we shouldn't be operating on knees with these issues to help pain. But in fact, that's what happens all the time. And in fact, right now, more than a million surgeries a year are performed on these phantom issues. And I call them phantom issues because they're not causing pain, clearly. And yet we're operating on these as if they are causing pain. So if you want to learn more about how to fix these things or help these things, uh, or what's really causing your knee pain outside of these phantom things picked up on the MRI, then take a few minutes and read my book, Orthopedics 2.0. I think it'll answer a lot of questions. Thanks so much for watching.